Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to my little corner of the universe, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us, Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Um, last time we left off, we missed our chance to talk to them here about what was going on, and that's okay. Um, I'm sure we'll get the information later on, but we did check out all of this. I think this is going to advance the plot, so let's go ahead and look at it. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Okay, I don't know anything about this murder except I haven't seen the body. I love the shadows effects on how it falls on things, the witching well. Is there other stuff to click on? No, just this. It's this. Oh. Kind of scary. Okay. Oh, I got the witching well. Okay. Um, oh, can I go over to that box of evidence and scroll through the evidence and see? Oh no, she's over there, so that's where the rest of it comes from. Um, is there anything over around here? Nope. That's the end of the area, and that's the end of that area. Is there more to look at? Can I? No, I, I can't go further. Okay. Invisible walls. Looks like I just have to go up to the bunker. Okay. Yeah, it looks a lot like you. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. This is... weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Okay. First thing is the brooch. Okay, what's the brooch? That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Hmm. Yeah, is there more? Oh, I can look at their legs and stuff. There's a rope mark on her legs. That was where the cinder blocks were rope tied. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. Oh, yeah. She from used Monday drugs? Monday drugs, too. Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might, it might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. <sighs> Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Now if she's holding something, what is she holding? Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Ugh. Uh, well, I mean, she's dead. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? 
flowers. Flowers? Yeah. Hmm. And the buttons. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Okay. No. It's not you. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? I'm not finished. I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it, then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. Well, the more we figure about we this We should body, keep going. Yeah. The more we figure about this body, so there's lingerie... There's a pocket, and there's two pockets there. Okay, let's look at that. She has some interesting lingerie. I, this feels creepy, but oh well. You Are know, you that actually makes so sense. Are you Oh. Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're uh, yeah, not. That's a little bit. Okay. That's a little bit weird. But in her pockets, there might be something useful. It's perfume. Ah, with instructions. What is that? This. It's your perfume. How did you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. You probably should do that first. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Yeah. So at least so we know it's it. someone gave her instructions. See, this is why you continue examining the body. Because you can find some stuff. Right up in here. I've seen things like this before. It's, like a nail. it's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. I'd rather have it One way at. to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? That's probably a puzzle lock. Stand Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Some kind of puzzle lock. Oh yeah, we have to match the puzzle. Okay. That one's good. Is that one? I think I remember this one. Yeah. A deer. What does that mean? Something clicked up. Oh. Hair. In a picture, huh? Is that your hair, Snow? Is that... It's your hair. Hmm. How did they get your hair? The other thing's a picture. Photograph. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing. I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. So how did they get it? Did they Who get it from Rose? Who did this, Bigby? Oh, I didn't get to check the... She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. What's... What? Uh, uh, I'm speechless. I didn't get to check the head. Damn it. Who is she? I should check the head. Come that on. wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She looks like Holly. She... The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... Guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. 
Ichabod, you ain't helping us here, okay? We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. No, You'd it's You'd be Snow's putting part. her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. She ain't gonna die that easily, Ichabod. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll right do. You can relax. I need to talk to Holly. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I don't know, Jack is... Because, you know, we were just weird. talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I'm really not in the mood right now. On, well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. I release him. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. <laughs> Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? Dude, what a few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. I'm sorry, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. You forced my hand. I'm sorry. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way.
Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you talking? Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. That should be fine. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? <laughs> Only tough shit. Pet club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs> <laughs> 